What's up everybody, Vibra here. Welcome to the at home edition of Poison Garden. This was originally my 3D exhibit that I did a continuation of for my show last summer at River House Arts in downtown Toledo. It was a crazy 3D exhibit and it was really, really immersive. So what we're doing today, we're gonna to kind of go through that, but yeah, at home edition. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So what is Poison Garden? Poison Garden tests the perceptions and reality that we know as our normal fabric of life. Now everything that we face in life, whether it be toxic or beautiful, there's always a duality to it. So with this exhibit, I wanted to kind of highlight that and, and, and talk about that more than anything. That's something that we don't normally talk about. Toxic friendships, toxic relationships, toxic people, situations. It's a crazy time you live in. And I think that it needs to be commentated on. What's up guys? So this is a piece I have here. This is the first piece of the collection of Poison Garden. The newer piece. Uh, the model is Chrissy Dell. She's from the Detroit area. And I chose her because I felt it represented something really interesting and more unique and exotic. And especially with the third eye, I feel like that portrays, you know, the, the open enlightenment to life. You know, and I have the foliage, the beautiful foliage that encapsulates her. It really brings to life almost like a deity type of feel, yeah, or a goddess type of feel. This piece here is, depicts my, my former assistant, Cora, uh, wrapped in foliage, looking forward into the future. Uh, she moved to Phoenix and then she started a, her career there and she's doing things. Uh, but I thought it'd be great to memorialize her more or less in a piece like this. Um, all these pieces are hand cut out of MDF with a scroll saw and then I hand paint them all with spray paint and acrylic and airbrush. This piece here is obviously my wife, Daphne. She's my biggest muse and inspiration of all, so of course I had to do a painting on her. But this piece is unique, it's a little bit different just because of the depth on it. Um, so I was trying something different with this one. Also airbrushed, hand painted, and all hand cut as well. Um, it's one of my favorites. So this piece is a lot different. It's really unique to the collection. I use a lot of these squiggly lines, which I kind of do in my murals now. Uh, but it was really experimental with the four eyes and kind of like this Hindu feel, you know, very, really mysterious and intriguing. Same with the colorway, very rich tones. Um, this piece to me signifies a lot of change and like uh, growth within my artwork. Uh, it's one of my favorites too. Uh, the model is Adrienne. She modeled my clothes for Creeps and Queens as well. So uh, it's always fun to, you know, give shout outs to homies too that help you as well. So this piece right here is quite unique. This is actually the first piece in the entire series. This is kind of what did it for me and really started a lot of things. Um, I used pop art in this one and my traditional tentacles, something I don't normally do right now. Uh, it's something that is definitely interesting and, and different. You know, and I really experimented with the colorway and the color theory on this one. Um, I remember this piece being really different and unique for me. And it's still one of my favorites actually. I mean, they're all my favorites, honestly, but this one really stands out. The half tone on the arms, uh, the thick line work, I love it, you know, all of it. 
it's really exciting. So this concludes this edition of Poison Garden at Home. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you like any of the works, check out FiberArt.com where I have all the work up for sale. The link will be below in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned because I have three big projects coming up in the next couple of months. I'm doing a mural for the City of Lucky. I'm doing a mural for the City of Toledo. The City Walk Tunnel Mural Project is really huge. And then I'll be going to Kansas City for a mirror festival. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys later.